Hello, my name is Liv, and this is my Native SOAR experience. SOAR stands for Student Outreach, Access, and Resiliency. SOAR serves as a mentoring program for students in middle and high school, as well as a service learning course for students at the University of Arizona. I took this course because I am majoring in education and wanted to gain experience working with students. Additionally, I am from New Hampshire and am not familiar with a native or indigenous culture, especially in the Southwest. I thought this class would be a great opportunity to engage with and learn about native people in the area and at the university. This class was extremely insightful. I am very glad that I chose to take it. Both the discussions in class and mentoring helped me to understand the native perspective relating to education. All cultures have different ideas and beliefs surrounding education and school. Natives in particular have a long, complicated history with Western schooling. George S. McClellan, Mary Jo Tippeconic Fox, and Shelley C. Lowe state in the article, Where Have We Been? A History of Native American Higher Education, that there are three eras of Native American education. These are the colonial, federal, and self-determination eras. The colonial era focused on assimilating natives to Euro-American ways of life. Federal was a time where natives were left out of higher education and instead were pushed toward vocational education. Finally, the self-determination era is identifiable by the demand for the presence of native culture in curriculum rather than the suppression of it. This is just a brief insight into the timeline of natives moving towards inclusion in education. Still. There's a long way to go before natives are properly represented in classrooms of all levels. In my future career, I hope to be one of the teachers that helps us toward the goal of acceptance and appreciation of native culture in education. My experience as a mentor with SOAR inspired me to continue towards this goal. Working with the high school students at Desert View gave me some insight into their perspectives on education. In the article, Factors Related to Native American Students' Perceptions of Campus Culture, Symphony Oxendine, Deborah Taub, and Elise Kane discuss the effects that mentorship has on students. They identify a description of mentoring as follows. Mentoring can be seen as a type of developmental relationship characterized by reciprocal learning and focused on goal attainment and personal growth. I find that this resonates with my experience, as well as what I have learned from my peers in class about their history with learning from their communities. Mentoring can be as simple as answering questions, and as complicated as presenting a slideshow on how to apply for colleges, scholarships, etc. In any case, mentoring has a positive impact on both the mentee and the mentor, as they learn from each other. Another learning moment that was impactful for me was our class's trip to the Pasquayaki Educational Center. This visit allowed us to learn from educators and knowledge holders from this community about their history and culture. I particularly liked seeing how the classrooms throughout the building were adaptable to a range of subject matter, from wood carving to learning the Yaki language. It made me think a lot about how I want to approach teaching in the future. Being a holder and sharer of knowledge is not reserved for teachers alone, and I want to keep that in mind in my position. In an article titled, Family Lessons and Funds of Knowledge, College-Going Paths in Amer Mexican-American Families, Judy Marquez Kiyama discusses Mexican culture and the importance of funds of knowledge for college goers. In defining the term funds of knowledge, Kiyama includes the quote, in the transmission of funds of knowledge from one household cluster member to the next, children often control the ways in which they learn and how they experiment with learning. Once again, this made me think about how many cultures do not see knowledge keepers in such a strict way as the Western view. Learning is not an activity solely reserved for the classroom. Overall, I really enjoyed my time in the Native SOAR program and class. Mentoring sessions were something I looked forward to every week, and classroom discussions on articles we read were always engaging and thought-provoking. I would recommend to anyone, regardless of their major or career goals, to engage with a mentor program of some kind. Native SOAR, in particular, provides a really beautiful opportunity to build a network of collaboration and support. One of the founders of the program, Dr. Amanda Tacchini, spoke to our class about her inspiration. 
I'll leave you with a quote from Dr. Tacchini that I feel perfectly sums up what I learned about indigenous culture in relation to learning. You think about what if we create a multi-generational mentoring program where it could be native graduate, our professionals could mentor undergrad students and the undergrads mentor our young people. I mean, that's how our life is, right? Because we think of others more than we often think of ourselves. That's indigenous knowledge system.